Band on today. today. Oh, oh, on. Hang on. Oh. Right at the start of the video. 2.6 billion views. Oh, that's loud as fuck, bro. <laughs> that is loud as hell. The only thing I can think of is that this is, it doesn't sound like fancy to me. Let me try it again. First things first, I'm the realist. Drop the bass, make the whole place feel this. And I'm still in the murder business, I can hold you down like I'm teaching lessons in physics. You should want a bad like me, something, something, something like me. Cup of ace, cup of goose, cup of crisp, cup of doop with a tapa 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 on my wrist. I don't know this one. <laughs> Unless the, the, um, it's either Fancy or The Mother We Share by Churches or Royals by Lord. Skip me. Let's see what the piano sounds like. I mean, the chord changes are, they're hidden. And it's, it, I meant to tell the lore keeper that lore keeper, I believe there is an entry in the database for this, but I don't know what it is yet. Let me get a, let me get to synth one plus synth two. I know it. I just don't know what it is. Let me get synth three. Two point six billion views, huh? Wait, ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. The chandelier gonna swing. Mama chandelier. Yes, it is chandelier. Okay, I knew it was in there. I knew it was in there. It is indeed chandelier. I don't like her, but she can sing. <laughs> Just fucking horrible, man. Musicians in front of the SkyTrain station on Granville Street be like... No, I know she's like uh, canceled as well. That's not really why I dislike her. I dislike her because I don't like the art that she produces. Seeing her then get canceled for something completely unrelated to the reasons for my distaste is, I guess, just a bonus. <laughs> what did she do? She's annoying as fuck in the Rubber Ducky Ensemble medley on Sesame Street. Everybody else just singing like the, the melody the way it was written and she's going like 35 times extra. Shit pisses me off, man. Why is she canceled? I don't know. I'm not 19. Go look it up. It's outside of my purview. You're the one who said it? Yeah, I can tell you that it's raining outside. I didn't make the damn cloud. Hey, Anel, did you listen to much dubstep between 2010 and 2014? Nope. No, I did not. I do know I, I'm familiar with it. I know it goes... It's, oh my god, Nintendo 64! Yeah, I'm familiar with all that. 1965, 156 million views. This has to be the Beatles or the Beach Boys, bro. Pretty woman walking down the street. It's not Pretty Woman. Okay, I thought for sure it was Pretty Woman. Let's go number two. I can't get no satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Guess, that is correct. All right. I had the same guess. Dude, it was, I mean, it started like, uh, do, 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 POV, you're calling your 62 year old uncle in 2007, but he's at the pub, so he can't hear you. Midi is so funny, dude. It's an Ohio-ass ringtone. 
2010, 1.4 billy views, okay? To me, this sounds like Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. It's not in the database, apparently. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I don't, I'm kind of digging that. I'm, I'm digging the, the synthetic drum machine at the, at the end. I don't know it though, let's go to the bass. Ah, po 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 poker face, pa pa poker face. No, 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 born, born, no, 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 born this way? It doesn't matter where I am. I'm titanium. I'm, I'm, I'm just running it through in my head. I'm gonna know it, but I need at least one more clue. Oh, it's firework. Now you got Katy Perry in the ecosystem. That was a tough one. No, it wasn't. It was not at all. I, and take it from somebody with 29 out of 29 discovered so far, 100% found. Hey, I didn't get to mention it, by the way, because I think it happened on maybe Friday. Not my ass saying I've never heard the Never Ending Story song before and then putting on a 30-minute Sam Yo, uh, four years of being a Peloton instructor celebration ride. And the Never Ending Story. Now I've heard it. It's the freaking Bader Meinhof phenomenon. It's so trash. I think it's pretty bad, but it's, you know, if you're in love with the 1980s, then fair enough. My mom watched that segment and she got it in one. Librarian, your mom's watching the content? Or did you show it to her? Both are scary for me because, like, A, I don't know if she's part of the prime demo for this content, which it, she can do whatever she wants. I'm not saying I'm not saying that I should deign to tell her what to do. But also, I'm like roasting you live in the content all the time. Isn't that like think of your mom's mental health is just her son is constantly getting blows rained down on them. <laughs> well, you're like, you work for this guy? Well, not Really, it's kind of hard to... How much do you know about the state of content creation, Mom? It's almost like he's like a... Like kind of like a content barracuda, and I'm sort of like a lamprey, but the lamprey is like... People are like, we kind of would rather have the lamprey than the barracuda at this point. Yeah, it, you know, what? it is ironic, but you're right, the ugly guy. I think it is a commensalist relationship. That's not ironic? Well, it, it, it's... Ironic because that's the question that I lost uh, schooled on. 2018, 594 million views. I don't know it yet. 2018, five years ago. Okay, bass and choir. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed I don't know it yet. Is this the weekend? Is it... Okay, I need I need more. This is not my era. be in trouble today. Also, it's so loud. Holy. It's Amish paradise. I have no idea. Just take me to the voice.
one more time and then I, I need the clue. I need the clue. Skip me. The clue is innate. What is natural? Imagine dragons natural. Guess. You got it! Oh! <laughs> Verbal intelligence says what? What? Ooh. I don't know if I've ever even heard that song. Which is crazy because I took a Sam Yo ride this very day. 1992, 1.5 billion views. My, my thoughts, they should let you guess one time before you even hear it. Because I just want to say, I'm guessing this is smells like teen spirit. Although 1.5 billion views seems a little high. I know Nirvana is very popular, but still, let's see, drums. Hanging round. Don't buy myself and I got too much caffeine and I've been about myself and there she was. Might be a little off on the tempo. Is this... It sounds crazy. To me right now, this sounds like the cover of Easy Sunday Morning by Faith No More. But... Um, that's not in there, so I'm sure I'm going to know it. 92, one and a half billion views. That started the whole world laughing. I, I, this, it's so obvious, but I don't know. Give me guitar, give me guitar. Oh, I like that though. It's got that sort of like uh, eraser head type sleepwalking little walk and steel guitar. Uh huh, uh huh. Give it to me one more time. G give me the voice. I don't know it. Oh, will always, okay, 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 okay. Whitney Houston, I will always love you from the Bodyguard soundtrack. It's Whitney, bitch. That's <laughs> so true. That one stings. I feel like I, I should have gotten it a little earlier. I do hear a lot of Whitney on the Peloton. I do not hear a lot of this on the Peloton. There's a lot of, um, I want to dance with somebody, um... I, I, there's just a lot of Whitney in general, but yeah, the instrument, it, it's crazy how when you strip out the vocals, it really sounded like a 1950s song about like, um, you know, your boyfriend dying in a car explosion, right? Like up, when you get to this point, this is like a slow dance at a, at a 1950s school dance. They're all hopped up on lead paint. It is a little Twin Peaks. I like this vibe though. I, I, I like that like, hey, let's go back to the 1950s, but with a little bit of a twisted David Lynchian lens. I'm not about like the 90s. I always get, I wouldn't say in trouble, but I catch some minus twos for this bit. This is how you know I'm honest. I'm not afraid to say something like I don't think Back to the Future is that good. I think it's fine. I, I think it's, I, it's not even fair. I think Back to the Future is pretty good. I just, I, it's crazy to me that 40 years after it came out, it's still like the most popular movie in my demographic. But anyway, regardless, maybe Dan's demographic. I like it when they go back to the 1950s and it's not like just pure Americana, like Dwight Eisenhower's kicking the shit out of the rest of the world. I like it when it's, they go back to the 1950s and it's like there's some good stuff to get nostalgic about, but also like it's pretty messed up, man. Like they just built a nuclear bomb like 10 years ago. You're really going to go to the malt shop with that in the back of your mind? I mean, we got to do something, I guess. What else are you going to do? You know what's a mind-blowing thought? 
you watching a YouTube video, eating dinner and hyper scrolling through your cell phone at Mach 25 has the same level of enjoyment as your great grandfather sitting in an easy chair, listening to the radio and reading a newspaper simultaneously. The further we go as a society, like do we really ever enact meaningful emotional change on the individual level like that? I bet grandpa was at the damn factory making sparks or whatever. And in his brain, he's like, oh, I can't wait to go, go home so I can turn on the radio and read my newspaper. <laughs> yep. Sticking out your gut for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your Sigma. That's, that's damn true, librarian. That is damn true. 2003, 749 million views. What is Seven Nation Army? Nope. Hmm, okay. Oh, drums and bass, oboe, French horn, brass ensemble, voice cover. I mean, I don't know it immediately. Wait, unless this is The Reason by Hoobastank. And the reason is yeah. You left me hanging there. Okay, oboe. Ah, your love's got me going so crazy right now. Got me going so crazy, so crazy, your love. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, dude, the oboe really ties that Beyonce track together. I, things I never thought I would say. It took me all six for this one. Really? I mean, dude, this went, this came out when I was in like ninth or 10th grade. It went crazy. They were still playing it on prom night. Oh, <laughs> dude. We, me taking piano lessons be like, like, li dude, they're really banging on those keys, huh? Oh, man, okay. Dude, they're hitting the keys a little too hard, but I, I when the music takes control, I understand. I got yesterday's bandle too. I don't remember what it was, but I got it. Ah, it was, yeah. It, I didn't get it until number four, but it was born in the USA. Never noticed the bass is so ass in Born in the USA. What are you talking about? I mean, you know the bass from bandle is not like the actual bass in the song, right? Like this is not what Crazy in Love sounds like. Like that shit's not going to number one in 37 countries. It's not kickstarting the solo career of one of the highest selling female artists of our generation, okay? This is going, this stuff you hear in like a, a restaurant that's going out of business in two months. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Probably still my favorite uh, Beyonce song of the seven I know. Low bar? Not really. She's got some good ones, man. She's got some, I mean, of the seven I know, they're almost all pretty good. Countdown's pretty good. Halo, she's got, a, she's got an incredible voice on Halo. It's not really my tempo, but she's, she's an amazing singer. Single Lady's pretty good, too. That's true. How much would you pay to watch her live? I feel like you, you're well-versed in the trap question, Dialguiga, because I would not pay what it costs to see her live. But I would, because what, what I was about to say is I would pay like 150 bucks to see a Beyonce concert. I think that half the people are going to be like, what the hell, that's way too much. And half the people are going to be like, that's an insult and we're going to kill you. I'm not going to pay the, you know, $1,500 resale fees on Ticketmaster to see Beyonce, but. Ooh. Ooh. 1982. A billion views. I don't know it yet. Give me the electric guitar one. Uh, I don't think I know it on electric guitar one. Give me electric guitar two. A billion views, huh? 
this is the same. It's oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, I need the synth. Now you two away from you. There's nothing that a hundred tomos or more could ever. There we go. Toto's Africa. How did he not get it until number four? Because uh, I like to listen to songs that are good. So this one kind of threw me for a loop. Oh, so you hate boomers, but you love uh, Toto. Make it make sense. Turns out you, people love separating the art from the artist when it comes to Toto's Africa. Okay, while well, I wait for a response from my wife, let's play Bandle. This is crazy. I am... Um, this is... I'm just now unmuting desktop audio. Five hours of having my desktop audio muted because there was no sound anyway. 2013, 1.1 billion views. Seabed sex music. Bass plus synth. Uh, Love in this club by Usher. Usher. No, okay, skip. Uh, next one. Ooh. I think I need voice, man. I need voice. A wrecking ball. Ah, now I get it. I was concerned. I thought that might be the last one. It's kind of a bop in MIDI. It's kind of a bop in reality. It's not my favorite song ever, but it's kind of a bop in, in reality. It's a memorable song, at least. Good morning to the gamers. Let's just let's open with a little bandle today. Let's open early. 1978, 159 million views. Okay, two, one, two, three, four. The only girl I ever loved was born with roses in her eyes. And, okay, so I think that's Holland 1945 by Neutral Milk Hotel. Just, I'm hearing bongos. To me, that sounds like, um, 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 Earth, Wind, and Fire. I'm going to say this is September. That's wrong. Okay, next. Ooh. I do like that. I like that. A little Nile Rogers joint. I don't know what it is yet. Okay, but I got a feel for it now. I got a feel for it. Ah, I will survive. I know I'll stay alive. Yes, okay. Easy, easy. But if it wasn't that, it was definitely going to be Holland 1945 by Neutral Milk Hotel. One day, one day it will be. You ever read it as Jeff Magnum? Um, I didn't, but it was crazy to me when the Magnum ice cream bar started making like a marketing push. I'm going to say that it was like the early 2010s. I was like, I, I've never seen so many convenience stores advertising large size Trojan condoms before. I don't know. I mean, growing up, Magnum had one meaning and it was extra large size prophylactics. The second meaning was like a, a large bottle of champagne. I would say without a doubt, the Magnum ice cream has passed the market share of the Magnum 
uh, champagne bottle. I don't know about if it's past the, the condom yet. Do you ever see the stat? It's one of the all-time great stats that the best-selling condom in, in North America is Trojan Magnum. You, an idiot, men all think that they have above-average-sized penises. Me, a genius, people with huge slongs fuck more and more safely. It's stats 101 versus Stats 201. Here we go. Here we go. The Latin magnum is actually pronounced closer to mangum, with how ancients tended to pronounce the gn or g sound, similar to the Greek... Who cares, man? The Roman Empire lost, bro. Odoacer soloed them. Well, he had the rest of the Visigoths, don't get me wrong. If they wanted us to keep talking, like the ancient Romans... They shouldn't have let the Visigoths sack Rome, bro. Now we're talking in the lingua franca, which for some reason is English. It doesn't make sense, but I don't ask questions because I benefit from it. Kibeno. Okay, it's time for Bandle. Ooh, I'll play with you. I'll play with you. Okay, it's from 97. I'm probably uh -huh. not going to do too It's good Wannabe by the Spice Girls. 1997, Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Definitely not. There's a movie it's, symbol. That's so 98, Ryan. <laughs> Or wait, isn't that when Spice World came out? This is uh, this is the Mission Impossible thing. <laughs> I don't know. I skip. Ooh. I'm I'm skipping straight to number three. Now I care for what it said. Never care for what it do. Something like that. Don't say oh, yeah, it. Course, Don't say it. I'm on, I'm on strings. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, of oh okay. how, did, how did you not get that? It honestly, turns out yeah. that that's not Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds nothing oh. like the, uh, this is good. the this is good. impression that I was doing. This that is the is, impression that I get. Dude, if they put that on there, no matter what instrument comes first, I'm getting it. I'd get that one, yeah. That's, that's a good one. Banana phone. It's morbing time. Speaking outrageously, I eat some blood. My name's Dr. Michael Morbius. I practice my craft. Oh, I am not quite morbing. Oh. I am fast in bed. Sorry. <laughs>